Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again. Um, news and views, views on some of the news, and commentary. All right. So first, let me get this out the way, and thank y'all for coming to my channel. Please subscribe to all my videos, share all my videos that you see, um, brothers. Um, yeah, please kick these videos around because we need to get this information out there, right? this one in particular so please share subscribe thumbs up brothers thumbs up and share 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 when every media you um app you have please share this right now this um cortez forever right he made this statement in one of the thing and i was like you know what you show right and hold on. First, I'm sorry, YouTube. Let me greet all y'all. Good dog. Hola. Oi to the bang. Vasas los. Bonjour, mes mi keru bawani. Konnichiwa. Ni hao ni hama. Sani banani. Jambo habayagani. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. And guten tag out there in Deutschland. Or is it guten Abend? I, I think it's guten tag. Anyway, I don't know what time it is out there, but you know, my brother, so V Gates is in and V Heist and C, all right? The person I'm talking to know who, who he is, but anyway, so um, basically he wrote this statement. If the majority of black women don't kill you in the womb, they will try to kill you in life right and this is a literal and figurative proven statement this is literally proven and figuratively proven and that because of the way that the laws go black women have been getting away with literal murder for a while all right but we're going to deal with the in the womb and the child support, how they murder the man in his finances, right? Because everybody know about all the killings that the women are doing with um, of the children on the news. You can go to other channels and see that. Even Sotomayor, all right? You can go to Tariq Nasheed. He talks about a lot of stuff. Um, there's a lot of, uh, lot of brothers out there talking about some stuff. Right, I'm gonna have to get around to all my channels again um, that I used to watch and see what other brothers are saying. But anyway, I've been looking at GW3 for a little bit. All right, Scribe, I've been looking um, baptized to Scribe. He's been uh, he's been at it, putting out some interesting, thought-provoking things. All right, and he 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 is dealing with more so. The end times kind of, uh, he deals with more of the end time preparation of things, you know. Um, and so, you know, you got a lot of that stuff going on, right? Now, this is the black woman for us, right? And I'm, I'm going to show you something in this video. So DNA proved that a Houston man isn't a child's dad and they still force a man to pay child support. And a brother was writing, and he's correct, they get a social security kickback for having a black man or any man on child support. So there is no incentive for them to be just or have justice. All right, already put up videos to showing showing you how the family court system is corrupt at best. Right? So it's best not to be put in it. But you can't help but be put in it when the person that's putting you in it is this person. Yes, the independent black demon possessed, demon worshiping, practicer of witchcraft. And I know it's practitioner practitioner 
but because of my titles and stuff i'm shortening words and just making stuff up all right but according to scripture the modern day black woman would be known as a harlot a whore and a practitioner of witchcraft witchcraft according to biblical definition is using forms of ma manipulation to unjustly uh, skew things in in your way so this is like using your um, the black woman using her coochie to set a dude up that she know got a good job um, to, to pay her child support for the next 18 years knowing that in her heart that she never intended to be with that dude she only wanted his money and benefits right that's witchcraft all right um this is like these black women that go around and say i don't have any children yep i don't have no kids i don't have no kids right and the reason why she don't have any kids and she calls them kids is because she thinks they're animals y'all know this i refer to them as children but she thinks they're animals so she has no problem aborting them Right, so it goes to the um, brother's first statement that the black woman has killed a fourth of us in the womb, eliminated a fourth of the black population. That's why we're no longer the, the black woman is single-handedly the reason why we're no longer the largest minority. Single-handedly, people single-handedly the black woman has destroyed the black man and children in such a way that it's almost irreparable the only way that black men can repair that is by going out of the country the few that can or the many that can picking up wives from somewhere else and rebuilding the black nation the black spiritual nation from that because the black woman has become worthless and a bane to our existence all right so since 73 the black woman has aborted over 25 percent of the population in the video in one of my videos I did the calculation and currently about 58 there are 58 million abortions since 73 and of that black women who are only 13 percent of the um, population they've murdered 21 million black people you know mother earth you know we we are the bringer we are the backbone well mrs backbone murdered 25 percent of the black population all right and i think i put that video up last month and as of last month it was 21 million murdered in her womb this is why a lot of these black women are getting breast cancer and stuff like that one they're not nourishing children anymore they're not breastfeeding they're going getting that simple similac infomil isomil right they're not breastfeeding black women aren't doing anything to take care of children to give them the um what they need all right i'm gonna tell you this you have immunoglobulins all right that you only hold on let me back up let me stop talking laptop okay you have antibodies and the one the ones i refer to is called immunoglobulins igg igm ige all right and all you know ig all this stuff iga right you have these things that the child does not have naturally when it's born but 
through the breast milk, the mother infuses that child with those things that will help the child build up an immune system. But that child don't get that immune system because the first thing that mother do is put them on Similac. She don't breastfeed. A lot of these women are having a, a lot of cancers due to these abortions that they had in secret. So now they're paying for them now. That's why you see such a rise in certain cancers in women. And then they're talking about they're brave and this, that, and the other. No, it's the most high paying them back for killing a man's seed in their womb. Right? Now, y'all see me put this chart up. Y'all seen this over and over again. Right? Going to talk, talk about a couple of things. He said, if they don't kill you in their womb, they'll try to ki um, kill you outside of it. To paraphrase, right? In every four days, more African Americans are executed by abortion than the Klan lynched in the last 150 years. 78% of Planned Parenthood clinics are in minority communities. Blacks make up 12% of the population, but 35% of the abortions. That's ridiculous. And he goes on to write that the Klan, that the irony is that abortion has done what the Klan only dreamed of roughly one, um, Klan of dream of roughly one quarter of the black population is now missing. See what I'm saying? So white women do it too. Right? Here's the problem. For all you black women that say white women do it too, my I never at said that no other group of women anywhere in the world don't do anything. What I said was the black women were the worst at it. And while everybody is waking up and being in decline, the black women are the only ones that run around calling themselves queen, mother earth. The black women is, are the only ones running around thinking that the man should serve them. The black women are the only ones that's running around that's doing all the evil in the black community, but then turning it, turn it around and blaming it on the good men that has been trying to build. The black woman is the only one that instinctively try to tear asunder every aspect of their community. The black woman of the United States, the black American. The black American woman is the only woman that sought to prosper off of the demise, off of creating the demise for the very community that they say that they're the queens of and protect and was the backbone of. As a matter of fact, the black woman has been a blight on the black community since 1970. All right, period. Period. The government is making a mint off of enslaving black men in child support. So this is the second issue. This is how the black women are killing the community. She's preventing the builders because black women aren't the builders. They don't build crap. They don't build home. They're consumers. They're consumers. Black women are making everybody else rich. Black women have taken all the wealth out of the black community, have given it to, to, to the Koreans for hair. 
to gay white men for all the their wear put on and all the name brand stuff that they have right to the prison systems with the free labor of the child every children that they raise every child they raise many of them go in and out of that system all right black women have built up everybody else's community while stripping the black community of his most vital resource the good man in a poll they did this who should decide what welfare is spent on in the dark green people on welfare should be able to decide how they spend money and that they receive in the light green the government should um, restrict what people can buy with the money they receive from welfare Guess who just won the election? I'm pretty sure y'all can read a chart. This child su support system is so insidious. Yep. That all a woman has to do is know a man's name. And if he's not aware of what's going on out of the country have different jobs you know living from place to place because that's how the, he can find a job he's single he know he ain't done nothing come back and they they've been looking for him all right then they hit a dude up for child support who, that they know the child isn't there but they don't care this whole system don't care like the black woman don't care right now why don't I ever talk about the white system? In a, in a way, I do talk about the white system. I say it's corrupt. I say we should never be a part of it. I say we should have never been a part of it. I say we shouldn't even vote. Because we're determining that we want some people to rule over us. And I don't vote because nobody needs to rule over me. Right? I'm trying to stay out of that system as much as possible. Right? So... We got men jailed in America because it's a bad thing for a man to spread his seeds as the Most High said he should. But for the 14 mothers who kept opening their legs to this man to produce these 23 children, how come they're not in jail? Okay, how come they're not seen as whores but are seen as angels and stuff? that need to be taken care of by his money and taxpayer money right how come black women get to run around and be the biggest whores in the country oh yeah they're out whoring white women but white women do do it too i never said they didn't i just said black women out whore them you see what i'm saying now, if you look at the real child support statistics, if you look at what's real, this is um, on the left, you have the total percent of child support received by sex. That means if you look at the mothers in blue, 87% of mothers receive child support, which means 13% do not. In a black community, 70% of mothers receive child support, which means 30% do not. In each case, most women receive child support. All right, look what happens when child support is given to the man. Look in the red. Only 13% of, of, of men receive child support when they're awarded child support that means it's always been the women that have been the deadbeats and by a lot that means 87 percent do not 
But the men don't go dragging their women through child support. Well, they didn't. But now they got tired of the mess, and now they're going and dragging their women through the child support courts because they believe turnabout is fair play. I don't believe in that either. So, brothers, I'm not down with that. I'm saying we need to keep all of that mess out of the court system. Oh, and I forgot about this one. Should a parent receive receiving child support be required to produce receipt verifying expenditures for to ch for the child? Right? That and 85% voted that they should. The reason for this is understand this. Please understand this. The child support does not go to the child. It goes to the mother. You know, they try to shame a man into paying the mother. So basically, she, in fact, is a whore. All right. And this is what makes her a whore instead of a prostitute. A prostitute is an agreement when everything is quid pro quo, right? What makes the black woman or women collecting child support from dudes that they're not with a whore is she usually gets with another dude and produces another child right now scripturally you're a whore and an adulteress because if you're getting money from a man then that man is essentially taking care of you and you have made him a husband over you right now since scripturally in deuteronomy 21st chapter starting at the 15th verse uh, where you can see that a man can't have more than one wife a wife cannot have more than one husband right because she ain't spreading seeds he's spreading the seeds so basically for all you christian black women that got a man on child support and you're living with another man and married to another man oh yeah remember the lady at the well before you Jesusites, yep, whoop, there it is. All right, the lady at the well. Now, Lynette um, Kafani, Kalfani had these things um, about child support. There was like twelve, um, there, ten things, right? Now, this goes to my thing that most men take care of their children. And when they say 30% of all custodial parents never receive one cent of child support, they're talking about men that are custodial parents and women. Like they asked me to hit my sister and the child, the children's mother and father up for child support when they gave them to I said, no. That's when I found out you had a choice. So for my nieces that I raised, I could have collected child support. Understand this for my nieces that I raised, I could have collected child support from both their mother and their father. But I believe that that was evil then, the same way I believe it's evil now, despite what their mother tried to do to me. All right, despite that. All right. That's a whole nother issue. And how I deal with that, I just don't have nothing to do with family anymore. You know, I, I keep myself doing what I'm doing, trying to do the right thing. I don't answer to them. They don't answer to me. And, and that's how I deal with it. But I'm not going to be go be like, All right, I'm going to put them on child support since I can. But see, that's a feminine trait anyway kind of a um, an evil thing that um you're going to cause harm um because you didn't get your way right there are no guidelines 
Child support money is completely tax-free income for the recipient, but is not tax deductible for the person paying. You understand that? So the man can't deduct it, but the woman don't have to claim it. Right? Um, child support and visitation, two different things. Which is why a woman could collect child support and then go hide her child, hide the ch- hide your child from you. And then you have to pay a lawyer to go to court to see the child and then when they get tired of raising it because they done turned the child into a demon and they want to find you then they want to give the child to you all right because now they feel like they want to go out do a bunch of things and sleep with a bunch of more men that the child is getting in the way of their party in time and stuff i'm gonna send you to your dad no right uh, no, you 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 weren't thinking about that earlier. Child support is not dischargeable by bankruptcy. All right, child support is like student loans. Now, here is the thing. Well, we'll get to this. Yeah, it's number eight. Child support orders can always be modified. Do you know that the black woman could have always taken a man off of child support and any of them that tell you that oh no the system put you on that's a bold-faced lie the black woman has the power to take you off of child support do you know why a lot of black men are on child support because the black woman wanted them in that system why so she could throw parties for a little baby that she's going to brainwash into hating the black man, hating her skin color, hating her hair, hating the natural love and affection for a man while promoting homo- or lesbianism and homosexuality to those children to, utter- to destroy the black community just a little more. Right? Because these females don't care. Right? It'll lead to serious consequences. Right? Everything has to be done through the court. You're a slave to the court. And that's the way these women prefer it. Right? Now, this guy says that um, this was dad's divorce. Go look that up by Sean Garrison and read this. That the system overemphasized financial contribution while underscoring other types of support. And I'm going to just allow y'all to pause that to read that for a moment, right? And for time constraints, I want y'all to see this. This is what comes from fatherless home. This is why I said the black woman alone have destroyed the black community. 63% most of all use um, suicide. Most of home, all homeless and runaway children. Nobody can stand to live with the black woman. No one can stand to live with the black woman. Not even the black man. That's how evil they've become. Behavioral disorder, rapists, high school dropouts, adolescents, patients in chemical abuse center, juveniles in state operated institutions, all you sitting in prisons. 85% of you sitting in prison, 70% juvenile, 75% adolescent, 70% high school dropout, 80% of rapists, 85% of children exhibiting behavior disorders, 90% of all homeless runaway children, 63% of youth suicides. Oh, by the way, this is black and white combined. 
what you need to do is increase everything by about three to five percent and you'll get just the black family. This is what that man meant by his comment about black women. And this is what I've been meaning. With that said, I'm out. All right, brothers and sisters, this is my final thoughts for the final thoughts who can keep who can keep hitting that wall. Brothers, we got to be weird. They can't stand us. They don't like us. If you are good, they detest you because they love evil and wickedness. And they are malicious and work to no end to get that. They will keep attacking our channels, attacking our voice. All right. So remember this. Pay attention to my description box if you care to help. Um, donate to what I do for the community, what this channel does for the community, the children, um, the awareness that it brings, and everything else like that. All right? With that said, I'm out. Again.